these Christmas songs? I mean, I just heard this song on the radio three times today. Like seriously, no matter what radio we turn on, it's just the Christmas songs all over. I mean, hello, okay, we get it. When it's summertime, you don't just think about how you go to the seaside. And when you do go to the seaside, you stay there for at least a week or two. And Christmas is just one day, so I such a big thing around that. Besides, how many times have you heard those songs already? I don't wish for much this Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. Well, putting presents underneath this Christmas tree will have to be teeny tiny, so no wonder you don't care. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Why? I mean, seriously, I really don't like snow. Am I the only one? Because I'm honestly glad that it's warm this year. I mean, our body temperature is like 37 degrees, so how is it normal to be cold and happy? Down there, from where I came from, it's always warm. I don't know why people are so afraid to visit. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Hey, how many of you can name all the reindeers? We all know Rudolph, but what about the other ones? Okay, enough with this because it's getting really tiring. One of the more stressful things when it comes to Christmas is definitely the Christmas presents because you have to get them for everyone and you have no idea what anyone wants and we all have too much stuff already, right? Wrapping paper! I can't be the only one who always saves all these because you never know where you're going to need it. But hey, what about recycling and all that? Well, so far I got like um, two gifts or four gifts and two of them are definitely for the same person and I need gifts for like 10 people. So, well, Houston, we have a problem because I have no idea what to buy. And what's a Christmas gift without a cute little bow? Present. Oh look, I do have a present underneath the Christmas tree. Christmas songs! Oh Tannenbaum, oh Tannenbaum La 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 I just don't know this song in any language. I hope that's not too embarrassing. I mean it's a song, I... How am I supposed to know every song? Duh! But I did make a pretty Christmas tree, right? I even put this poisonous mushroom on the top. I mean, isn't that supposed to bring you a strong message? And to top my Christmas spirit, I have a hot chocolate. Well, it's a special kind of hot chocolate. It works like this. You take milk and you boil it and then you put this in and mix. And it's supposed to be really yummy. And can you beat my Christmas spirit? Because I have portable lights. And do you know what's the best part about these lights? You can walk all around the house and you'll never end up in dark. Since we are talking about Christmas, the other day I just started wondering what Christmas even is. I mean, it's a family holiday, which means we all gather around the table and we have a lovely family dinner and we sing Christmas songs and we give each other gifts and it's so exciting. We put out all these decorations that then we have to, uh, well, put away as well. So basically, what is Christmas? And because I've learned never to be too proud to ask for help, I'm just going to Google it. What's simpler than that? So let's see what Wikipedia got to say about it. Christmas or Christmas Day is an annual festival commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ, observed most commonly on December 25th, as a religious and cultural celebration among billions of people around the world. So basically, we are celebrating Jesus' birthday. Well, happy birthday then, but here's the question. If it's his birthday, why are we getting the gifts? 
This makes me think that Jesus was a hobbit. Have you ever thought of that? Because hobbits has this tradition that when they have birthdays, they're not receiving gifts, but they are giving gifts. So this way, every hobbit receives at least a gift every week, which is quite a nice tradition if you ask me, but seriously, was Jesus a hobbit? So let me just Google that as well. Jesus is the central figure of Christianity, the son of God. Early life, family and profession. And he did miracles, so hobbits are just too lazy to do that. But you know what is more interesting thing about him? Well, you probably do. He like raised from the dead. Basically, he died and then he woke up again and then he walked around, which doesn't make him a hobbit anymore, but a zombie. So today, we're going to celebrate a birthday of a zombie. I mean, hello, Walking Dead fans. If you think that zombies became popular when that show came out, well, I'm sorry. Zombies are popular for last 2000 years. And people are worshipping the one particular of them so much more than you ever liked that show. I mean, have you put the entire building up just to prove how much you love it? Uh, no. And Walking Dead with Makers, I'm sorry, but you really haven't discovered something new. So, if you told that Halloween is supposed to be a creepy holiday, I'm sorry, but no, it's Christmas. So gather the family and let's have some fun together. And maybe someone should bring um, a chainsaw, X dates, a gun, some gas to pour all over, super Christmasly scented candle, and have yourself a merry little Christmas.